UGD coming at you with an AR pistol, guys. Yeah, found it on the arms list and a used AR pistol. I love me some AR pistol. This is Palmetto State Armory M4A1. That is a cool receiver. Property of the U.S. government. No, no, no. It's property of the UGD. Give you a rundown of this hot rod. 223 Wild. Yeah, that's the chambering on this. 7075 T6 aluminum. In its current configuration, we're coming in at 24 and 3 quarter inches. Barrel on it, 7 and a half inches. Capacity, 5, 10, 20, 30, 60, 120. Yeah, there's a lot of options there. 4.8 pounds. Yeah, 4.8 pounds. Now, this is my first experience with the Palmetto State. I'm going to tell you something. The fit on this thing is super duper tight. Yep, yeah, and I like the finish. Yeah, they did a pretty good job. Mill spec type of finish. And this one, what's intriguing about it is, yeah, it's missing sights, but it's got some extras. Let's start in the back here. We've got a Trinity Force TBA-10 brace. Yeah, these are inexpensive, but I think effective. I, I've run the Shockwave and liked it. This is my first experience with the TBA. Um, these are around $20. Yeah, that's not too bad. Got an ambidextrous uh, single-point sling. I like that. I got a single-point sling laying around here somewhere. Oh, the anti-walk uh, uh, pins right here. That's pretty slick. Extended uh, pins right here. Yeah, the takedown pins are extended. You can see they, they stick out quite a bit. That's a pretty slick deal right there. And then the 223 Wild Barrel. Guys, I've done a video, posted it already, on what the 223 Wild Barrel is. It's a great chambering to have. And on the front here, we've got a, a CAC micro can. Yeah, this flash can right here, that's a must on these AR pistols. I've run them with just a flash hider. And once you put a can on it, that makes a big difference. We're actually going to do a video demonstrating the difference on it, see if we can knock some stuff down with it. And then he put on this, uh, oh, this grip right here. He's gone ahead and knocked it down and stippled it. Yeah, not a big fan of it. So, guys, this is a budget build. Typically, these parts kits from PSA and the pistols, I think they start around $300, can work their way up four or $500, depending on what you get with it. This one's kind of an entry level, so we're going to keep with the entry level parts. Used, you're going to find AR pistols anywhere from four, six, seven, eight hundred dollars just depending on it how the guy built it out. This being a budget build, here's what we're going to do on it. I'm going to replace the grip. Yeah, that's got to go right there. Oh, I didn't mention it's got a little uh, extended uh, trigger guard right here, the BCM trigger guard. We're going to change that grip out. We're going to find some real inexpensive iron sights on it. We're going to use those for co-witness on a inexpensive red dot I've got laying around here. And then we'll put a 45 degree grip on here because I do like having that up front. So guys, there's your first look at you know something that's kind of slick. If you've never run one of these, uh, you know, I guess they're a toy more than anything. I just think they're as fun as hell to shoot. You know, are they effective for defense? I don't know. You know, guys are going to have different philosophies on that, but I, th I think it's pretty slick. So, guys, first look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you think he has lost his AR cotton picking mind, hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.